Hi, so today we're going to be taking a look at Math Counts Nationals, the 2018 Sprint Round, number 21. Uh, actually, this was a pretty hard problem, even though it looks pretty short, and it's not got fancy words or diagrams or anything. Uh, actually, only less than 50 people got this one right uh, on the Sprint Round, and it came pretty late, too. So, this is tougher than it looks. Uh, what is the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 3 to the 19th plus 2 to the 19th? the whole thing over 3 to the 15th plus 2 to the 15th. So take a second and try to work this out on your own. Okay, hope you've had luck with that. Um, the main reason I chose to do this problem was because it's got the form and the technique that many people use uh, in many competitions, uh, especially in math counts. It came in math counts, but I believe a form of this came earlier in another competition, uh, maybe the AMCs, uh, maybe a previous math counts, but it does appear quite often. Uh, and that technique is just factoring. So let's get started. So we'll rewrite this. It's 3 to the 19th plus 2 to the 19th over 3 to the 15th plus 2 to the 15th. So the key in this problem is to see that you can split up 3 to the 19th and 3 to the 15th, right? Uh, we have A, B to the C. Let's give an example here. Uh, is this is the same thing as A to the C times B to the C? And so we can split up 3 into 2 times 1.5. So that would be our A and B in this case. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, it becomes 2 to the 19th times 1.5 to the 19th plus 2 to the 19th whole thing over 2 to the 19th oh sorry 15th there we go over 2 to the 15th times 1.5 to the 15th plus 2 to the 15th uh, let's factor it out. This is the key step that I said, factoring. On the numerator, if we take out 2 to the 19th, we are left with 1.5 to the 19th plus 1. And if we do the same thing in the denominator, it'd be 2 to the 15th times 1.5 to the 15th plus... There we go. Uh, let's continue. So... Now the obvious thing to do here is cancel out the 2 to the 19th and 2 to the 15th. Uh, so that would just become 2 to the 4th on the numerator. And you're left with 1.5 to the 19th plus 1 over 1.5 to the 15th plus 1. So now this is a tricky part that uh, most people had trouble with, I think. Um, so. The 1.5 to the 19th plus 1 and the 1.5 to the 15 plus 1, uh, the numerator and the denominator respectively, uh, we need to figure out how to cancel that. Because we have 2 to the 4th, 16, a nice whole number here, but then we have this mess. So we need to figure out a way to do that. And so here's the strategy to doing that. Um, because 1.5 to the 19th and 1.5 to the 15th are so large, we can effecti effectively just cancel out the 1. Um, and just not cancel out, but just forget about it for now. Uh, I should say. So we'll just circle this for now and we'll leave it as approximately 2 to the 4th times 1.5 to the 19th over 1.5 to the 15th, which is approximately the same thing as, uh, I shouldn't say approximately, actually, it's equal to proper mathematical nomenclature, 16 times 3 by 2 to the 4th. Now the 2 to the 4th and the 16 will cancel, leaving just 3 to the 4th, which is 81. Now we need to know the greatest integer less than or equal to this number, uh, which is approximately 81. So we know it's either 80, 81, or 82, uh, if the plus 1s have a large effect. So when we take this two into account, we can test it out with some other numbers. Uh, we see that the numerator is obviously greater than the denominator, so we'll make a test case that follows just like that. So if we have, pick, say, some random numbers, 7 and 3, and we have 7 plus 1 
and 3 plus 1. So we just need to see which fraction is greater out of these two, because then we can apply it back to this case and see which one, which way uh, our final answer, 81, should go if it's going down or up. We need to see which uh, number it's greater than or which number is less than. So I should probably have picked a better number than 7 because that divides really badly. So we'll do 5 over 3 and 5 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. So 5 over 3 is approximately 1.66. And 5 plus 1, which is 6, over 3 plus 1, which is 4, is 1.5. Right, so we can see that 1.66 is obviously greater than 1.5. So when you, add, when you have a fraction with its numerator greater than its denominator, and you add 1 to both the numerator and the denominator, it decreases the fraction. So that's key to note here. So if we have this fraction, and we're adding just like a small number, it doesn't have to be 1, uh, to both the numerator and the denominator, then we end up with a smaller fraction. So this right here is smaller than this. And this is 81. So smaller than 81 by just a little bit would yield 8. It's 80 point something. Like we don't know what that is, but since the question asks what's the greatest integer less than or equal to the number, it's 80. And we're done.